I was wondering about getting some kind of reports about what's going on within Congress, and these things are being recorded. I don't want to, you know, inter have any chance of things being interfered with while things are in progress. But I'd like to be able to be able to review at least a synopsis of what's going on with the sessions to see sure. how things are. Well, everything can be posted on the internet. It's not a secret. Uh, uh, I do I just, think that it should be password protected for our people only. I don't think the whole world needs to look at it, but not at this point. Yeah, well, you know as well as I do, if some people get a hold of it, it'll wind up on the Internet. But Well, that's, uh, that's true. Well, yeah, and that not, might not necessarily be bad in all cases, uh, but we ne what we need to do is put it out there for the people of the Republic and give them access to it, but, but not everybody in the world, because not everybody's a member of the Republic. And, uh, uh, well, but it, it, it has to be it has to be public information to make it legal in this country or make it lawful. Uh, you can't. I pass was also wondering. Law. I tried to see if signing up for the uh, the Ranger thing, and for some reason, after I signed in, it it gave me access to one of those fields. I imagine that's just a glitch, right? It's a little. I have no idea. <laughs> you that bad? I, I, I just that. tried signed in, and I tried to find the field, and it. I like I say. Stuff happens, and and I've done some computer programming. I know how things can uh, you 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 get a what was supposed to be a, a period winds up being a comma or the other way around, and everything yeah. gets screwed up. I like I say I'm not faulting anyone. It's just um, I'm just saying that I tried to get yeah. into that field and it hit me. So well, I appreciate you letting us know about it because if we don't hear about it, we don't know about it. And uh, that way we can fix it. Right. I don't want to ever put a complaint forward that doesn't have a suggestion on how what might be done differently. Go. And I am curious God. about um, what training material we have to enlighten people, because I have a lot of naysayers that I've tried to reason with that because they don't see it on CNN or Fox News, they say, well, that can't be real. And I'm like... Yeah, well, when I saw Building 7 go down, my belief in the official story of 9-11 went right down with it. And that's why I try to right. explain to them, just because you don't see it on TV doesn't keep it from being real. Um, so I am I share your concerns that if we don't do what we need to do straight away, we could find ourselves in a very bad situation where re reinstitution is extremely difficult, I take it. Yes, it is. A, it's a concern that, that we need to get this thing done, and we need to get it done as soon as possible. We want the structure correct as we can, but uh, it's not going to be perfect. I don't care how long we take. And well, uh, we can get the basics in there and move on, and, and that's what con that's what Congress is for: is to, well, to fix the, in the imperfections. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you, you heard what I said. We're going to have to wait till heaven to, for things to be perfect. And in the meanwhile, honest people make honest mistakes. So let's just, you know, let's keep it with suggestions where things might be remedied uh, because, you know, I'm curious about um, um, my pistol and my rifle were stolen several months ago. So right now I'm unarmed. So not that I want a shooting conflict or anything, but I am curious about reinstating the militia and uh, getting things properly organized where obviously within a militia structure, the militia does not bear arms with malice or in any kind of abusive manner, and there needs to be a structure for disciplining people who misuse that power, and um, that's the distinction. That's correct. Right? And so that's one thing I try to be clear to people is a militia is not a mob. It's disciplined. It's lawful. And Absolutely. When people, they're, if, they're, if the people are issued weapons, it goes with a very clear understanding. You abuse this power, you're going to suffer the consequences of doing things that are unlawful. And, you know, that's, 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 that's something I try to get across to some people because um, – when I talk about reinstating the militia, they they completely misread what I'm talking about because they're thinking along the lines, along the lines of how the media has 
slandered the militia as being a bunch of lawless, you know, it's like we're not opposed to the government, we're opposed to lawless, corrupt, unaccountable government. And that's the Absolutely. world of difference. You know, that's like uh, I'm not calling for Lon Horiuchi, the man who murdered Sarah Weaver at Ruby Ridge, to be lynched. I believe he should be tried if convicted. Uh, there's four times in the book of Deuteronomy when it says that in calling for the death penalty, it says when the people see this, they will know not to do such things. So the problem with the death penalty as we have come to practice it is you have 12 law-abiding citizens as witnesses when the inmates in prison need to see what's going on and to see, hey, this could be you. You better That's right. straighten up, son. You know? So uh, like I say, um, I'd just like to get some kind of checklist of what we need to do and yeah, I'm working on that uh, now, and I'll get that out to the people, and uh, I'll get that out to everybody so they'll all be on the same page, and they'll know the steps right. that we need to take so that they can uh, get their Congress tightened up. Let's go with this thing. Well, like I say, anything I can do to help within what limited means I have, all you need to do is ask. Well, Thank it's, you, sir. Prayer, prayer is free, and I need all of that you can give. Well, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, sometimes prayer needs to be specific, and I, I, I'd like you know I, I, I need to know specifically what, what needs to be I done gotta, so that not some yes, big we'll, and we'll, and we'll get that out. We'll get that out to everybody. We're we're going to give that to everybody the, the steps that we need to take to, to do what we need to get done. And we certainly need to expedite this because, um, quite frankly, yes, right now I'm I'm deeply concerned that this country's. Um, just judgment simply means a conclusion, and mercy is a form of judgment, and that's the judgment this country needs. Is we had the people I think have no idea how how horribly they've been betrayed from within. We and I've tried to explain this to people. We have no enemy foreign apart from the enemy domestic, and then they read it completely wrong that I'm saying that you know. My only blanket indictment of the American people is we, yes, me too, we have been gullible. We have been trusting a people unworthy of our trust, and usually in a polarized mindset, you mean, oh, you mean those guys in the other party. And I'm like, you know, when I say fix bayonets, I don't mean an act of violence. It was like, it means prepare to deal with the enemy close in, and especially the enemy within our own skin, within our own mind, within our own hearts, because... That's where people have the most power is to deal with the enemy that's among you. Uh, and it doesn't mean, you know, it, like I say, it's mainly within your own self and within your own nation, within your own borders, within your own political party or affiliation. And Satan tends to deceive people into saying, let's go get the enemy way over there on the other side of the world or the other side of the political divide. And it's like, but if you don't straighten up your own act, what a good business do you have dealing with somebody else's issues? So, you know, that's what has concerned me about what I've seen people, um, they get caught up in this Hegelian divide, and I'm like, but why are yep. you criticizing the other party when you haven't owned up to what your own party has done, you know? So, I thank you, sir. Right. Like I say, I, I, thank you. I, I want to reason with people, and, you know, like, come let us reason together, meaning... <clears throat> I want to have. I want to be merciful. You got to get on to the next caller. My, my I fault. Not to be merciful about. They're going to keep on thinking. My, my apology. I'm going to admit it. I, I had to mute you, sir. We, we've we've got uh, twenty some odd people on the phone. Um, I'm going to bring you off uh, mute. On. Um, please please accept my apology for having to mute you. I never would like to do that. Um, what, what you're saying is extremely important. We just got about twenty five more people, and my my kid in yeah, the back is not ready to. He's about ready to punch me because I promised I'd watch uh, the original Where the Red Fern Grows, and I'm breaking my promise as a father tonight, so I'm trying to get through these calls. Okay, God bless you, sir. Press on. Hey, God bless God you, bless sir. You. Thank um, you. And, and thank you for understanding. Um, we're going to move on to area code 352. Uh, go ahead. You have the floor. And please keep your questions uh, uh, to a question, not a statement, uh, so we can get through it, okay? Hi. Tim, this is Barbara from Florida. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. I just want to know how many counties do you need in every state up and running to get this going? Well, it's, it's 
we don't, and we need as many as they want, as you want to set up in each state's fine with us. But the state government needs to be put in place. Uh, the the counties will follow the states uh, because it takes more to do the counties than it does the states. But all of them are very important. And but we what we're trying to structure is to get the, the we've got the the federal structure pretty much in place. The state structure is coming into place. And then we'll just because of the logistics of it, we didn't have the people to do the counties. Um, that'll be the last thing we do, but that that's very important. Uh, but at the same time, there's 3,200 counties or so in the in the country, and we're trying still trying to get 50 states. I mean, it's uh, just what possible. But uh, it, it it's very important to get all of them done. But anyway, we're we're right now working. The federal structure is pretty close. The the state structure is coming into place, and uh, and then we'll work on the counties after we get that done, because we've got to have those two in place. And God bless you. Thank you, President. God bless you, Bob. God bless you too, ma'am. And thank you for the call in. We're going to move on to area code seven two zero. Go ahead. You have the floor. Uh, yes, Mr. Turner. Yes. Yes, uh, I'm on the nation state of Colorado. I just wanted to thank you for your efforts to uh, restore the Republican form and style of of government of the people, for the people, by the people, to the people, and from the people of the natural family mother, guided only by the divine providence over all worldly men. I uh, have for some time um, been looking into... Uh, some of the things that have been going on with your organization mm-hmm. and your efforts. <clears throat> and, of course, there's been some controversy, uh, which caused me to take a step aside in it for a while, but uh, I'm looking at it again. And um, well, I, wanted, I was impressed tonight by the things that have been said um, about, you know, the people moving forward with, with um, you know, the current – uh, form of government, the constitution, and that and um, and uh, changing it as it needs be. And I just was compelled to to share something from my forefather of ten generations that I believe you, by my reading this, will know my name. I quote: "Is it not the glory of the people of America that while they have paid a decent regard for the opinions of former times and other nations?" They have not suffered a blind veneration for antiquity, for customs, or for names. To overrule the suggestion of their own good sense, the knowledge of their own situation, and the lessons of their own experience. To this manly spirit, posterity will be indebted for the possessions and the world for the example of the numerous innovations displayed on the American theater in favor of private rights and public happiness. I ask you, sir, do you know who I am? I'm not exactly sure, but the, that sounds a lot like Thomas Jefferson's writing. Hey, he was a good friend. No. Actually, uh, my forefather was accredited with the author- authoring of what we call today the Constitution. I am James Madison. My James Madison, yeah. And I have for some time been attempting to make personal contact with you. Uh, is there an email address that I can contact you at and send you a sure. phone number where we can communicate? Sure, absolutely. Uh, T. Turner at the Republic of the United States dot org. Okay. Very well, then. I yield the floor. Thank you, sir. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. And, uh, it would be a, an honor and a pleasure to have you on board to help. Mm. You're, All right, you're we're going to bring on a very, very wise man. <laughs> yes, he was. Um, and again, just as a reminder, um, I, I don't want to uh, sound rude at all. Uh, it seems like every time I say 20, another couple come on. Um, guys, we have to get through these questions, and we need to address the needs of the republic and we need to stop making statements that doesn't mean um we don't appreciate you or we don't love you or we don't like what you're having to say it just means 
There's a ton of questions, and we uh, we need to address them all. So if you got a statement, um, don't be surprised if you hear mute in your ear, and uh, I'm going to redirect you back to making a question and not a statement so we can get through all the callers and have it be fair. In the last two callers, we've had over 50 people fall off the call, and that's indicative of people wanting information and not statements. So um, area code 813, you have the floor. <laughs> 